Hi everybody out there in YouTube. Uh, I've been asked to do a short video on how to do a black wash uh, to highlight some details by Raymond Woodring. Uh, it's his YouTube channel name. He's also known as Woody Down the Lane. So Woody, this is for you, uh, answering your request. Woody's building a monogram 1929 Mack Bulldog tank truck. I have a little bit of familiarity with that one. I spent many months uh, pouring over each piece, um, brush painting and weathering it. Uh, so now I'm watching with interest how Woody is going to do his. And I noticed on his engine and transmission parts, uh, painted silver or aluminum. And I remember there's a lot of uh, detail in that kit, a lot of nuts and bolts and little gears and things and uh, to, to highlight those I want to show how we do a little black wash so what you need I got some uh, craft smart uh, flat black craft paint um, you want to have a little bit of windshield washer fluid just in case things get out of control a couple of drops of that just uh, in case of a cleanup some q-tips for a cleanup I have a brush here any brush will do pretty much this one's uh, a little bit thicker so it'll go on pretty uh, pretty heavily. Um, a little cup of water. I'll shake up the paint. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is pour the paint out into this little tray here. But because I'm doing such a small area, I don't even need a drop. So what I can do, once I've shaken it up, I'll just get the bubble off the top there, take the cap off and there's probably enough wet paint in the cap just to do what I want so for demonstration purposes I have an engine sitting here I haven't gotten back to for a while it's out of the 57 Chev Nomad wagon and what I'm going to do is since I painted the transmission here um, aluminum I'm not sure if it's aluminum or silver what I normally do with uh, smaller parts like these engines and transmissions here, uh, I brush paint them. And uh, I probably, I can't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure I, I painted this with enamel uh, out in the garage. I just brushed on some enamel. So I'm using craft uh, acrylic, so that'll go on over the enamel without damaging it. I can brush the, um, the black wash over this. If I get too much, I can rub it off with a Q-tip with some water or some windshield washer fluid and take it back off again. If you paint this silver here uh, or aluminum with enamel paint it, you don't really have to clear it. You can put your wash over top. If you put uh, with craft paint, craft acrylic paint, if this was craft acrylic paint you want to seal it first with some flat or um, some matte or sorry um, satin varnish something like this here. Duraclear matte varnish. Just brush some of that on, or some floor polish, or whatever you use to seal your acrylic, just so that the layers don't react with each other. And if it gets out of control and you need to clean it off, you won't be taking the the silver paint off or the aluminum paint off as well. You can thin it with windshield washer fluid, but I'm going to keep that there just for cleanup. If uh, if I need, and I usually just dab out a few drops of water and uh, it has to be quite thin so uh, you need a lot more water than you do paint so get and I just take a little bit of black paint and mix it with the water here just a drop now hang on a sec I'm gonna pause this and readjust the camera so maybe get a better view of what I'm doing here okay hopefully that's a better angle so you can see here some of the detail on this transmission part. Let me find a toothpick here to point with. You can see some of this detail here that we want to highlight. You can also use it on the chrome covers to bring out some of that and around the engine and, and that to bring out some of these details on here as well as to make it look a little weathered. I wasn't really at that stage in this build yet, 
but uh, we'll start with the transmission here. So you want this pretty watery, almost a translucent black. And just keep adding more and more water. Move to another thing here. And uh, so let's see if you can get this in the frame here. And you just brush it on. If it if it's a little too watery, you can thicken it up a little bit. You just want it to get in there and highlight some of these details. If you have too much, that's okay because the transmission, if it's being used at all, it's going to be a little bit grimy looking. And uh, it just kind of takes the edge off, makes it look a little more realistic. I like using the steel uh, colored or gunmetal acrylic with a steel enamel paint. It seems to have a little bit of a grit to it. So when you're putting your wash on, it's, it tends to uh, really bring out the details. So hopefully you can see a little difference there. And if you get too much, again, you can just take a Q-tip. You can let it dry a bit. If you if you go to, it'll pull some of that off. It'll pull that right off. Or if you want to get rid of it, you just dip it in the water or the um, windshield washer fluid. But that's basically all there is to it. You just uh, it just sort of fills in the creases and and uh, highlights the details. Now, to, uh, if you wanted to rust out the uh, exhausts, what I would normally do is just take a little piece of old um, sponge fo or foam uh, paintbrush, take a little corner off of it, and uh, I just keep turning it around using different corners. A little bit of orange, uh, reddish brown, lighter dark brown. This is all dried up now, but and just keep moving it around in the paint, just dab it in the cap, you don't need much, and just kind of dab it on like that to uh, to add rust. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, a um, little bit of reddish brown, and that'll bring out your, your rust highlights. So that's basically all there is to that. If you're using enamels, that it'll, it works the same way. Uh, because this is acrylic, um, at some point you're going to want to seal that with the clear just so it doesn't uh, rub or wash off when you're handling it. So I hope that helps. That's basically all there is to that. And I think you'll see a noticeable difference in your completed build. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.